For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Ella skirt. And if you want to recreate the Cindy Puff sleeves, feel free to visit my channel. To start with the waistband, make a slip knot, chain 8, make 3 more chains and then make a half double crochet on the third chain from the hook. After that, continue on making half double crochet on the remaining stitches. To make another row, chain 2. And then turn your work. So we're going to make a rib stitch, it means you're going to use the back loop to make a half double crochet. Continue on making half double crochet across the row using the back loop. So I made a total of 74 rows, but this will depend on your measurement. After that, you're going to frag one row of half double crochet. Chain 1, turn your work. You're going to make 2 single crochet on each row of half double crochet. And you're going to repeat that until you reach the last row of half double crochet. After that, chain 2 and then turn your work. Make a double crochet on the very first stitch and then double crochet on the next 2 stitches. So now we have a total of 4 double crochet including the chain 2 from the start. On the 5th stitch, we're going to make an increase or 2 double crochet on 1 stitch. And you're going to repeat that. Make double crochet on the next 4 stitches and then 2 double crochet on the 5th stitch.
Repeat that until you reach the last stitch. After that, we're going to connect the two sides of the skirt. Slip stitch on the very first double crochet. Chain 2, double crochet on the next 3 stitches, now we have a total of 4 double crochet including the chain 2, we're going to make an increase on the 5th stitch or 2 double crochet on 1 stitch. And that's the pattern for this row for double crochet on the next stitches and then two double crochet on the fifth stitch. Make a slip stitch on the very first double crochet, chain 2, and you will repeat the same row. After that, chain 2, make 1 double crochet on every stitch. Repeat this all around and you're going to place a slip stitch on the very beginning. And you're going to repeat this row. So I made a total of 14 rows but you can add more rows before we proceed with the ruffles. For the ruffles, chain 2. And then you're going to make a double crochet using the back loop only. You're going to repeat that on every back loop all around until you reach the starting point.
So after the third DC row, I'm going to change the color into white. Tie the white color. And you're going to finish the double crochet using the white yarn. After that, make a slip stitch on the very first double crochet. Chain 2. You're going to repeat the back loop row. So after you finish the back loop row, you're going to repeat the 3 DC rows. And then we proceed on the very last row. So I made the 1 back loop row and 3 DC rows. On the very last double crochet, again we're going to change the color into blue. Tie the yarn. And then finish the double crochet using the blue stitch and then make a slip stitch on the very first double crochet. Chain 2, make 3 half double crochet on the very first stitch. And then make 2 half double crochet on the next stitch. On the next stitch, make 3 half double crochet. And then again on the next stitch, make 2 half double crochet. So this will be our pattern on the very last row. And you will repeat it all around and then make a slip knot on the very first stitch. Make a slip stitch on the very last double crochet and then continue on making slip stitch so the end of the skirt will be secured. So after that we're going to proceed with the ruffles. We're going to use the back loop stitches. First, insert the white yarn on the back loop stitch and then tie it. After that, chain 2. Make a half double crochet on the same stitch. So the pattern for this part is you're going to make two half double crochet on each back loop. And you're going to repeat it all around. And then again, slip stitch on the very first stitch. Thank you. 
when you reach the starting point make a slip stitch and then another slip stitch and then make a slip knot cut the yarn Make sure that you're going to insert the excess yarn on the inner part of your skirt. After that, you're going to repeat the same procedure for the other back loop rows. So back to the waistband, this is the part that you're going to put the tie for your skirt. First, insert the yarn and then tie it. Chain 2, turn your work to the side, make a half double crochet on the next stitch and then chain 2. After that, skip 2 stitches, make a half double crochet on the 3rd stitch, and then half double crochet on the next stitch, again, chain 2, And then half double crochet on the third stitch. So it will look like this chain one, and then turn your work. Single crochet on every stitch. After that, make a slip knot and then cut the yarn. And you're going to repeat the same steps for the other side of the waistband. I also made 80 chains for the tie. Thank you for watching. For any questions, you can DM me on my Instagram account. Thank you.